Hello, sports fans and football fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I am here with the Week 10 NFL Picks. Now, if you've been following my picks every week and you've been following my progress, you know that Week 9 did not go so well for me. I was actually 7-7, seven and seven, 500 record. Uh, but, you know what, I'm not as upset about that 7-7 seven and seven record uh, as you would think I would be. Uh, because there was a lot of close games. There were games that were decided on the very last play of the game. And there were matchups where the, the two teams involved were, you know, it was like a pick em. You know, like Kansas City against Miami. Both very good teams. Um, I chose Miami because... Kansas City had a tendency to play down to their opponents and uh, take their foot off the gas when they were ahead. And that actually still happened in the Miami game, but they hung on and won. They had a 21 nothing lead on Miami, and they ended up winning 21-14. And uh, Miami was driving near the end of the game, but uh, Tua fumbled a, uh, a snap which uh, resulted in then not being able to score and, and Kansas City hanging on to win. I also took the Texans to win, and they did, but they won with like literally only a second or so left in the game, a couple seconds left. Uh, they drove down the field with like 45 seconds. They needed a touchdown, and they drove down the field with 45 seconds um, left on the clock at the start of the drive. And they ended up scoring and winning the game. The Falcons, um, who I picked to win, had gone ahead late in the fourth quarter. But then their defense allowed the uh, the uh, other team to drive down the field and win the game. The, I think it was the Packers. Maybe it was the Packers. But anyway, all those every game was like that. It was a matchup between two teams. It was like you know, flip a coin. Who knows? So I'm not that. Uh, unhappy with a 7-7 seven and seven record. As a matter of fact, the way it unfolded, I got the first six games of the day wrong. And then I got the next seven right, and then I got Monday Night Football wrong. So, uh, yeah, 7-7, seven and seven, I'll take it. Um, we'll move forward, and we'll see how we can do. Um, anyway, 7-7 seven and seven in Week 9 makes me 80-56 and 56 on the year, which is an almost 59% uh, pick percentage for the season. Um, so I guess I'll go with that. Um, but, uh, you know, who knows. So that brings us to week 10. Uh, week 10, you've got uh, the, uh, you know, the schedule is up here on the board. And we will, first we need to go get my... Uh, we need to go get my my pen, my magic pen, and I'm going to make it blue. And we're going to go with the blue pen, and the first game is the Thursday, November 9th game, and that is my Bears are at home against the Panthers. Now, the Panthers still aren't very good. The Bears lost last week. Again, the Bears, they just barely lost. They The Bears barely lost. They played a good game, but, you know, um, Bajant had his uh, growing pain mistakes that he made. Uh, I think that Justin Fields will be back or possibly will be back this week. But even if he's not Bajant, you know, I mean, at least now he has some experience under his belt. The Panthers still aren't very good. They're not a very good team. Um and their uh, their rookie quarterback is still learning, and he's really not coming along as as probably as quickly as they would have liked. So I'm going to take the Bears here. We're going to go with the Bears to win at home in Chicago. Next game is the uh, Sunday, November 12th slate of games. And I will want to point out that this Colts-Patriots game is in Germany. Because there's people that like to point out, hey, that game is not in the United States. It's in Germany. Okay, I get it. But the home team is technically the Patriots. But anyway, I digress. Uh, the Colts have been playing 
pretty pretty good football, and the Patriots really haven't. They've had a couple of wins, uh, you know, a win here and there um, that was a, a big win. But, uh, in fact, I think they won last week, and I had predicted they would lose. And, again, it was a very close game with, I forget who they played, but it was a close game. Uh, I'm going to go with the Colts here. I think the Colts are the better team. The Patriots are reeling. They're in disarray. Even when they win, they don't look good winning. We're going to go there. So uh, that's that. Next one is the Browns and the Ravens. Now, everybody is jumping on the Ravens bandwagon. The Ravens, Ravens this and Ravens that. The Ravens are the best team in the NFL. Yeah, well, remember, the Ravens lost a couple of games that they shouldn't have lost. So... You know, what is it? Which one is it? Are they really that good or are they not really that good? I don't know. But I'm going to say that they are going to be, they're playing at home in Baltimore against uh, the Browns. The Browns are a very good defensive team, but they're a mess offensively. Who knows who the quarterback is? Is Deshaun Watson back? I think he is, but does he feel like playing? Is his heart really in it? So we're going to go with the Ravens. Uh, I'm going to take the Ravens at home against the Browns in this divisional matchup. Next one you got is the Packers and the Steelers. Now the Steelers, great defensive team with an absolutely anemic offense. But they still manage to win. They find ways to win. That's what the Steelers do. It's a, the hallmark of a uh, Mike Tomlin coach team. And uh, the Packers... You know, Jordan Love, is he's still experiencing his share of growing pains. He's not quite there yet. The Packers are on the road. The Steelers are at home. I'm going to go with the Steelers in this one. Even though they have a terrible offense and, uh, you know, are going to probably have to rely on some help from their defense, they always seem to get that help. The next one you got is the 49ers and the Jags. The 49ers are on like a three-game losing streak, three- or four-game losing streak, or a three-game losing streak with a week off or something like that. Uh, they're not, they have, lately they've been kind of um, bad. And uh, they're going to be playing in Jacksonville. The Jaguars are just getting more confident and seem to be getting better as time goes on. I'm going to take the Jaguars to win this one at home in Jacksonville until... San Francisco can show me they got their mojo back. And uh, we don't know that they do. Next one you got is the Saints going to Minnesota to take on the Vikings. And uh, the Saints, again, it's, it's a common theme with a lot of these teams. Great defensive team. They leave a little bit to be desired on the offense. Um, the Vikings have Dobbs now at quarterback because um, Kirk Cousins is out for the rest of the year with an Achilles injury. And Dobbs, man, Dobbs looked good. The plan last week was for Dobbs to sit until he learned the offense. Um, and he didn't even know players on his own team, his teammates, because um, he had just arrived. And they were going to play the uh, they were going to play that rookie guy that they've got, but the rookie got a concussion and had to sit out for the rest of the game. Dobbs came in and he was adequate. And again, this is another game. I picked the team that played against Minnesota. I think it was I think it was Atlanta. I picked Atlanta to beat Minnesota, and it, and the Vikings went down the field on the la, you know right in the end of the fourth quarter and scored a touchdown to uh, or scored the points that they needed to win the game but it was a very close game um, I expect the same thing here uh, because Dobbs is still new I, th I, th I expect Dobbs to start at quarterback um, and n not their their young guy but who knows but either way um, it's it's a team sport and uh, I think from what they saw from Dobbs last week, you got to think they're going with Dobbs. I'm going to take the Vikings at home. I, I just, I'm not ready to sign up to the Saints being a really good team. <laughs> I mean, they, and really, even their defense hasn't been playing as well as it did coming out of the gates. So we're going to go with the Vikings there. Next one you got is the Texans at 
the Bengals. The Bengals played very well against the Bills. Again, this is another game. Very close game. It was a pick em before they went into the game. And I did take the Bengals to win, luckily. Um, or I would have been 6-8 and eight last week instead of 7-7. Seven and seven. But, um, but again, that was another close game. It was just, who knows? And I picked the Bengals and got lucky. Uh, the Texans I did pick to win as well, but they had to drive down the field with seconds left and score a touchdown. Um, the Texans, you know, they're a feisty team, but I'm going with the Bengals. The Bengals are at home. Burrow is back. Burrow doesn't seem to be suffering anything more from the injuries that plagued him at the start of the season. And that brings us to the Titans at the Buccaneers. Now, the Buccaneers were the team that got beat by the Texans in the last second last week. And they have uh, Baker Mayfield as their quarterback. And you know I'm not a big fan of Baker Mayfield. I don't like him at all. I think he's a little bit of a punk and he's a little bit too full of himself. And it's showing because he has not led the Buccaneers to a great record. They're not winning. If they're on top of their division, it's only tied with other teams with a mediocre record. Um, so, And the Titans, man, um, I'll tell you what. The, that new quarterback that they've got, the young guy that they drafted, Le- Lavis, Le- is that his name? I'm, I don't know. I'm not sure. It's something like that. Um, but he um, he looked great, and he does look good. And uh, I expect him to start. So we are going to go right there. In fact, I haven't even been looking at my sheet. But yes, I did pick all the teams that I said I was going to pick. And we are going to go with the Titans. I'm taking the Titans, the young guy, um, Will Lavis. I think that's what his name is. Um, to beat um, Baker Mayfield and uh, the Buccaneers. Now you got the Lions visiting the Chargers. The Chargers won big on Monday night. They destroyed the Jets, but really they had a fumble. Reco- was it a fumble recovery? No, they had a, a, a kick return for a touchdown, and they uh, and they had their share of uh, problems against the Jets, but the Jets were just anemic offensively, and they won that game twenty-seven to three or twenty-seven to six, something like that. The Lions are a good team. I think the Lions are going to make the playoffs. The Chargers are at home, but I don't really, really don't care. I'm going to take the Lions there. Um, the Lions take the Lions to beat the Chargers. And now you got the Falcons at the Cardinals. The Falcons are going to start um, Heineke again at quarterback um, over Ritter, and I think rightly so. Heineke. Again, Heineke played well last week. It wasn't his fault that the Falcons lost. And uh, the Cardinals continue to be bad, and they don't even have Dobbs anymore. Dobbs at least had some uh, NFL experience and was an experienced quarterback. Now they got a guy, forget what his name is, but uh, it's, it's some kind of, uh, well, I don't know. But anyway, uh, it's a forgettable name, and it's the, the Cardinals are a forgettable team. We're going to go with the Falcons. The Falcons need this game. It's against a team that's not very good, and they're at the top of a mediocre division with a mediocre record. They have to keep pace. They have to win. The Giants at the Cowboys. I'm not even going to mess around here. We're going to go with the Cowboys. They, that was another game. Another game. Cowboys-Philadelphia. Who do you pick last week? Philadelphia or or the Cowboys? I picked Philadelphia And they won, but again, it was a close game that the Cowboys came within three yards of winning. So, um, in the Giants, they have uh, some kind of, uh, they've got a young uh, rookie quarterback with like, uh, you know, an Italian mafia last name. I I don't know. I don't think the Giants are, (laughs) the Giants are just not serious. They're... (laughs) They're not going to even come close to beating the Cowboys. I expect that to be a blowout. Next, you got the uh, Commanders at the Seahawks. This game is in Seattle. The Commanders won last week. Again, another game, a close matchup against a team that um, 
it, who knows who would win. I did not pick the Commanders, and they did win. But again, it was a very close game, went down to the wire. Um, but the Seahawks, and the Seahawks got um, destroyed by the Ravens. But that was the Ravens. This time, the Seahawks are at home. They're still the Seahawks, and they're still a much better team than the Commanders. I am going to go with the Seahawks in that one. And then the Sunday night game for um, the for this coming weekend is the Jets at the Raiders. I did pick the Raiders, and I picked the Raiders because they got a new coach, new blood. The, the team was excited. They're uh, they're you know behind their uh, their new coach, um, and uh, they they love him. And you know the Jets they looked bad against the Chargers, and the Raiders are at home. I'm going with the Raiders. Pick the Raiders to win that one, and that brings us to Monday night, the Broncos at the Bills. Now I I picked the Bills to lose to the Bengals. And for good reason, and they did lose, and they didn't look good. They really didn't look good. They don't. They have a scatterbrained uh, offensive philosophy. They put too much on um, on the shoulders of uh, uh, Josh, whatever his name is. I can't forget his. I, getting old really sucks because I cannot even remember his name. I think it's Josh something. But anyway. Um, he's a good quarterback. <laughs> Take my word for it. He's a good quarterback, but they put too much on him, uh, you know, to, uh, to to win these games. And the Broncos, I think, are starting to figure out what they need to do to win games. So even though this game is in Buffalo, this is, believe me, this is a losable game for the Bills. And... Um, I'm going to take the Broncos. I'm going out on a limb here, and I'm going to take the Broncos to beat the uh, much more talented Bills. They are more talented, but I think that the Broncos are going to come out and win that game. So those are my picks. Uh, what do you guys uh, What do you guys think of uh, my picks? Leave your comments, as always, in the uh, comments section. Let me know what games you disagree with me on, or just list your picks, or... However you want to do it is fine, and uh, certainly if you disagree with me, I don't take offense to that. I mean, last week I was only 500. So that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.